Hey everyone, Mr. Shaw here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make an ISO file. An ISO file can be used to either back up your games or distribute around the web in a, in a virtual disk format. So it's not actually a physical disk that you hold in your hand, but it's one that can be mounted on a virtual drive, which can then be played off your computer without actually using any disks. And you do this by getting one of these two programs. Magic Disk here or Power ISO. Magic Disk is the free program and Power ISO you do have to register it so it isn't technically free but you still can use it for quite a long time. So first of all you download one of these programs and I'll show you how to do a first with Magic Disk and what you do is you download it obviously and then you double click the shortcut after you've done that you'll get a tray icon down here in your tray by the clock and you right click it and you get a menu like this and you go to make CD slash DVD image then you get a tab like this now this is uh, where you place in your disk if you haven't already done that like your DVD your PC game maybe your PS2 game something that you want to make a backup copy of in an ISO format so you can play it on your virtual drive but if it's a uh, disk that isn't typically played on your v on a virtual drive or a normal drive actually then it won't work on a virtual drive so you place in the disk wherever it may be and you find the drive it is in I've only got one drive which is the HLDT drive and I've got two virtual drives here so you place it into your actual drive if it's a physical disk and you select the output folder which I don't know where it may be but you select where you want to place the ISO into so it just can be your documents or wherever then down here it's quite an important bit you click it and you get a drop down menu and select the standard ISO image file or dot ISO uh, don't select any of the others they can lead to complications and they are typically used for different things I suggest just using the standard ISO uh, set so now that you've done that you are ready to make your ISO file so then what you do is just press OK and you it should start making your ISO and after a while it'll end up in uh, the folder that you selected as your output and then you can play it on virtual drives which can uh, be used in magic ISO just click here here and then mount and once you click the file it'll the screen will go away and then all you do is go to my computer and then go from there so that is how you use magic disk so uh, now it's on to power iso so again you download the program power iso and you double click it and after you've done that you get a screen like this so what you do here is is go to tools and again make cd rom image file and click that and select the drive your disk is in so if you placed in your disk again like magic disk you placed in your disk into your drive and it has to be the physical disk if it's a virtual drive you make it an ISO of an ISO then select one of your virtual drives but my drive is the C DVD or W drive E you can check what drive it is by going into my computer and seeing what drive yours is then you just select the ISO file and find your location where you want to where you want the ISO to end up and then again just press OK and it will start making I have not put in a destination or have a disk in it so I don't actually want to make an ISO so that is just how you make an ISO and with power ISO you just mount it here and again just find the file and then it will go away and go to my computer and play the file so that is how you make an ISO file to play on a virtual drive or to make an extra copy of to back up later whatever you want to do with it it's just a virtual disk and you can burn it onto a physical disk and you can use it on a virtual drive whatever you want to do with it it's there for you and thanks everyone for watching this has been Mr. Shell enjoy making your ISOs